For this tutorial we're going to make a view shed analysis and uh, normally you would use a height map which also has trees and uh, houses because they obstruct your view but for this uh, tutorial I'm just going to use the same height map that we've been using all along so first you need to install the plugin it's called visibility analysis this uh, visibility analysis here it is we install this plugin and then we're going to need to make a point layer so a new layer I already did it before just to test it out so a viewpoint and we're going to give this the name VP and press OK it already exists fine then we're going to edit that layer and add a point so let's say we're going to make solar panels and we want to know who can see the solar panels from which area so just for the sake of it we're going to place it somewhere here uh, so this is our one solar panel you can make multiple points and you will get uh, a more detailed um, view shed analysis of different points which will be visible throughout the area but just for the sake of it I'm going to make one because it calculates quicker so I already used visibility analysis so you can just type it in here and you will create you will get this same uh, the same button so this is our solar panel we're going to create a viewpoint of that solar panel we put the elevation model on clipped because that's the one that we are using uh, the observer ID okay the radius of analysis now it's on five kilometers let's bring that to one point one and a half kilometer so it calculates quicker this is the observer's height so a person standing anywhere in this map in a radius of uh, 1500 meters uh, there will be his uh, his or her height uh, eye height so 1.6 meters the target height is the height of your solar panel so let's say this solar panel is 1.6 meters high well, comma uh, so leave this as it is and I believe this is it create a well let's create a real layer safety file view give it a better name than I just did and let me see and hit run so it gives you the viewpoints when you go into uh, to the attribute table you will see observer height the target height and the radius in which it need in which the program needs to search so then we're going to analysis we click view shed we use the observers location those are these points and I'm not sure what all these buttons are but I'm going to make an output file save to file if you create a temporary file it will be just stored somewhere as scratch and then when you restart your computer it will be gone so if you want to keep this file save it if you just want to check it out then don't save it just use a temporary thing so this is the view and it's going to create a TIFF file so it's going to be a raster file the digital elevation model is clipped and then we're going to hit run it might take a while so it's going to search in a radius of 1.5 kilometers from this point I'm just going to hit pause and so we know when it's done okay so it's done and this is the image that you get so this is the circle of the 1.5 kilometers uh, this is your viewpoint of your uh, solar panel so anybody standing in this white area that's uh, one meter that has his eye level on one meter sixty uh, we'll see that solar panel that is standing here uh, of course it's all in black and white so it's not that visible uh, let's just go you can do the same things that you did for the height map so you can do uh, in two colors and let me see because we only have 0 and 1 
think this will suffice. Yeah. This you can also let me quickly check the transparency. So you have a better view of what's happening. So of course behind the the dike of the road people will not be able to see this solar panel. And when you when you use a map that also has trees, of course it will also not be visible. So this is a quick visibility analysis. You could also turn it around and say like the target height. So this thing is one meter eighty. So a human that is standing there and it's looking for things that are zero meters. So you can then see like if I'm standing here, what is my view and what obstructs my view. So you get an idea of how far you can look into the distance before uh, for something obstructs it. So that's a bit uh, about the view shed analysis and the next tutorial is going to be a heat map. See you at the next one.